A good disciplined runner always wants to run the second part of the course faster than he or she ran the first part. So that's kind of pinnacle for a runner, is to know that you finish the second part faster and stronger than you finish the first part of the race. And that is a negative split for a runner. Taking that negative split in the running lingo and applying that to life, that's really where in his image is going, is saying, okay, take all of these components of your life, mental, physical, social, and spiritual, and then run that race of life. Run harder now, run harder the next day, go faster, go stronger, go higher. Do that every single day. Live out the next part of your life stronger than the previous part so that you can look back and say, I was disciplined in my approach of life and I'm finishing stronger than I started. For the negative split for me, um, the ultimate was to be able to finish that half marathon and finish that second part of the race stronger than I had run that first part. It told me that what I was doing and what I was working on and the plans that I was making and the training program I had was working. If I wasn't finishing stronger, if I was getting tired at the end and sluggish and I didn't feel like I could quite make the race, that told me that what I was doing was not working. So go back and look at something differently. And so I took that concept into life. And so God then laid it on my heart to create um, a Bible study that focused on all areas of life, not just that being physically fit, that healthy lifestyle that I love so much. And that's where all that passion for running came from. As Christ spoke to me through his word, and I began to look at two, Luke 2.52, Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. He lived that whole strong life, a disciplined approach, physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. Spiritually being number one. Take something like this concept or this Bible study of in his image, go through it and really pray about what areas in my life need balanced that's what I needed was balance. Um, I had a great balance in my physical activity, and I think I had decent balance in my family life and in my spiritual life. I didn't have great balance in my social life, and I didn't take time to recognize the fact that I was made in the image of Christ, and I was loved just for who I was, not what I was doing. So those were the things that the Holy Spirit worked with me on, and so not everyone's going to be the same. So hoping that this Bible study will be the first step. Go through this Bible study. Get with a group that will help keep you accountable. Get involved in the physical activity and really begin and ask God, what is it in my life that I need to do to balance this out? Because I want to be stronger tomorrow than I am today. And I want to live stronger for the next years of my life than I did before. I want to do exactly what you want me to do and I want to be exactly where you want me to be. So what does that mean for me? So if you go through this Bible study and you're serious about it and you really do it and, and you do it the way that it was intended and set up, this Bible study will help, help people understand that plan. My hope is that they can then look and evaluate, like I was talking about that runner, that maybe that training plan wasn't working for that runner and he was just running slow and sluggish. I hope this Bible study can cause a person to reevaluate their training plan and say, hey, my training plan isn't working. I got to put a new one together. And then the Holy Spirit will begin to put that together and formulate that. And then you and the Holy Spirit work on that together. And then every single day becomes a day that you look to Him to have a successful training plan. And that may be uh, that you change your um, Bible reading habits. Maybe that needs to, you need to add daily devotion time to your life and daily prayer time and 
You need to work on relationships. I, I wouldn't know what that would be for every individual, but I think the Bible study will guide them to that, and that's the first step in developing that well-disciplined training plan that you can take throughout the rest of your life and live better than you started.